Hi, in this video, I will show you how to view outbound clicks in Google Analytics 4 to see what external links are clicked by visitors on your website. I will also show you how to adjust what domains are tracked automatically. GA4 goes beyond basic page view tracking that we have seen in Universal Analytics and tracks some interactions with the website automatically using enhanced measurement. You can find these settings under Admin section, Data Streams, select data stream and click gear icon next to enhanced measurement. By default, all properties will have outbound click events enabled and will trigger an event whenever a visitor clicks on a link that leads to other domains. If you had this setting already enabled, then you will have all historical data about outbound clicks from your website. In case you enabled that just now, you will have to wait at least 24 hours before you will see first data in your report. Outbound clicks are collected as click event, and we can find the total number of such events in the default reports engagement events section. Or if you have enabled business objectives reports, then under examine user behavior events section. For example, if I would search here for a click event, I would see that we had 15,000 outbound click events in total, but unfortunately at the moment you can't add most of the default dimensions, so you cannot see which exactly links were clicked from this report. To access that information, you will have to create a custom report. From exploration sections, create a new report. Import three new dimensions. Event name link URL, and page path. In the same way, import two metrics, total users and event count. Now for the rows, drag and drop link URL and page path into rows or just double click on them. So I will do that for link URL and page path and do the same for total users and event count. Now you will see page path, but no clicked link URLs. And this is because it includes all events, not just outbound clicks. So we will need to add a filter to include only a click event. And you can do that by scrolling down in settings, find filters, select event name, exactly matches, click, and apply settings. Now you should see values for link URL, However, if you are using some JavaScript code after a button click or after a link click, you would see something like this, JavaScript void zero or something similar. To see only links, you could filter that out as well. So let's go back to filters, select link URL, does not contain, and enter JavaScript, hit apply. Then you will see we have two links now on the demo account. And one of them also contains this mail to parameter, which means that link included an email address. If you want to keep them, that's fine. But if you want to filter those out, uh, same for the phone number, you can do that the same way from the filters. In real scenario, if you have a lot of different outbound or third party domain links on your website, you should see a long list here for each of the pages. So basically this report will show you which link was clicked, on what page of your website. And that's how you get outbound click report in GA4. Additionally, you can further adjust this report per your needs. For example, split it per device type or remove page path to have a more high level picture. Now, if you're using same property for multiple domains, you might need to slightly adjust data stream settings in order to avoid seeing your own domains as outbound clicks. To do that, go back again to admin section, data streams, select data stream, go to configure tag settings, and then click on configure your domains. Here you need to list all your domains or just the websites that shouldn't be included in outbound click tracking. After you have saved the settings, any new link clicks to these websites won't trigger a click event automatically. And that's it for this quick tutorial. As you can see, it is relatively easy to find outbound click report in Google Analytics. Like the video if you found it helpful and subscribe to this channel to see more GA4 tutorials.
Let me know in the comments section in case you have any questions and see you in the next one.